so it was quite late in my application process it was really towards the end um that that the training got scheduled um and so i could do it i was part of the group but it also meant that the training was being done in a different way um because of restrictions that we had um there there were lots of activities and things that couldn't be done as part of the training and so um and so it was a shame i felt that that impacted a little bit on the benefit of it um and it it just perhaps made things a little bit more uh complicated and there was less fluidity and we perhaps all of us of the group got less out of it than we maybe would have normally um and so that was a shame but otherwise that's not to say that there weren't aspects of the training that were also very useful of course and um um and th and that is part of the process um i did do some other training as well um during the application process um partly because it was taking a little bit longer and so janine and i agreed that um even if of course you can't guarantee that you'll be approved at the end that it was a good use of the time for me to perhaps already um do some of the training that i might have to do once i was approved um just to kind of move forward um so there were a couple of other things that i did like first aid and um uh internet safeguarding with children and um the, the things like that so and that was that was those were very good the the first aid training was excellent i'm somebody who's been frequently a first aider um through professional circumstances or in offices and things like that so i've been on over the years i've been on many different first aid trainings and it was very very good